doctors, we body a mod. The prophets is back and we pulling your cards. Your past a lie, he a fraud. You messed up and stepped in the room full of gods. And hopped in a pool full of sharks. So watch what you saying when you do respond. Or get left looking foolish and odd. Like who that won't smoke ain't nobody at all. Doctors, we body a mod. The prophets is back and we pulling your cards. Your past a lie, he a fraud. You messed up and stepped in the room full of gods. And hopped in a pool full of sharks. So watch what you saying when you do respond. Yeah. So what should we be doing? Endeavoring to keep the unity. Like now, brother, the brother just told you several times, we want to see y'all in Memphis or Jackson. We need to see y'all, brother. We need to see y'all. That's endeavoring to keep the unity. It may be two hours. It may be a couple hours away. But is it worth going? It's worth going, though, ain't it, bro? Read. Read uh, verse 13. Jump down to verse 13. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 13. Till we all come in the unity of the faith. And until we all come in. Until we all come in. Because y'all like-minded brothers. Y'all think like we think. So we all got to come in what? The unity of the faith. The unity of what we're teaching. The unity of the faith in Jesus Christ. That's what we got to come together and start learning so we can teach it to our brothers and sisters, right? We got to come together, read. And of the knowledge of the Son of God. And the knowledge of Christ, read. Unto a, per unto a perfect man. Unto the measures of the statue of the fullness of Christ. Right, of the fullness of Christ. So how are you going to learn the fullness of Christ if you're not around like-minded men? If you're not endeavoring to keep the unity of your brother? You got to come around. We talked about that when we was over there. You got to come around. I'm glad you stuck around, bro. Give me uh, 1 Corinthians 1 and 10. Give me 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 10. Give me that, bro. All praise to the most high. Read that. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 10. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, uh -huh. that ye all speak the same thing. Hold on, that we do what? We That ye all speak the same thing. That we all speak the same thing. So you can't be saying this about this thing and I can say this about this thing. We got Christ said for us to speak the same thing. Jesus is black. We got to keep the Sabbath day. We got to keep the commandments of God and the faith of Christ. We got to speak the same thing, brothers. You understand? So you need to get around like-minded men that speak like you speak, right? It makes sense, don't it? It's, it's crystal. Go to 1 Peter 2, 17. It's crystal clear. Give me that, bro. 1 Peter 2 and 17. 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 17. Uh -huh. yeah. Honor all men. Now we're telling you to honor all men. We're going to speak the same thing. We ain't not here to kill nobody, rape nobody, hurt nobody. But what we are here to do? To preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. The right. good tidings. Read. Love the brotherhood. got to love the brotherhood. If you love the brotherhood, you wouldn't mind driving two hours to get, a, get a, a, amongst us one day a week. You wouldn't mind that, would you? That's nothing to do for the Lord, bro. Read. Fear God, uh -huh. honor the king. Fear God and honor the king, honor Jesus Christ, bro. You understand what I'm saying? Now, give me, uh, give me Exodus 29, 45. I want to show you this real quick, bro. I want to show y'all. No, give me Luke 8 and 1. Luke 8 and 1 real quick. Watch this, brothers. Give me Luke 8 and 1. Because this is, Christ did the same thing we're doing. The same, we, Christ is our example. We learned, let's show you, read. Luke chapter 8 and verse 1. Uh -huh. And it came to pass afterwards that he went through out every city and village preaching and showing the glad tidings. Start again. Eight, Luke chapter 8 and verse 1. And it came to pass afterward that he went throughout every city. He went throughout every city and village. And village. Preaching and preaching and showing and showing the glad tidings. The glad tidings of what? Of the kingdom of God. God, Jesus went around showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God. Now, one of the glad tidings of the kingdom of God is, give me Exodus 29 and 45. One of the glad tidings, brother. You already know. You know. But we're going to read it. I'm going to show you a couple scriptures to make sure you hear it. Read that. Exodus chapter 29 and verse 45. Uh -huh. And I will dwell among the children of Israel. Oh, he going to do what? God going to dwell who? Who? Dwell among the children of Israel. God going to dwell among the children of Israel. Read. Yes. And be their God. And be what? Be their God. He's only our God, brother. That's the good tidings. Yeah. He's only our God. Do you understand that? That's powerful, brother. That's powerful. Give me uh, 2 Kings 5.15. 
give me, I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep showing you this, bro. It, you got to come to Memphis or Jackson, bro. I, I'm challenging you, bro. Get there, bro. It's worth it. Get there, bro. Read. Second Kings chapter 5 and verse 15. Uh -huh. And he returned to the man of God, and he and all his company, and came and stood before him. And he said, Behold, now I know that there is no God. In Behold, now I know there is what? There is no God. There is no God in all the earth. There is no God in all the earth. But in Israel. But in where? In Israel. But in Israel. That's right. Do you understand? You Israel. He only the God for you. That's it, brothers. That's it. Joel 2.27. He's only the God of you. So it ain't no two hour drive, ain't nothing. That's nothing to keep the endeavor to keep the unity, ain't the brother. It's nothing. It's nothing. We got brothers driving four, five hours to endeavoring to keep the unity, bro. To build this up, bro. You understand? These kids need to know this. Who got to teach them? The men. We got to lead our communities, brother. Y'all two right here in Greenville could start a whole a mustard seed or something, bro. Right. You understand? Read that. Joel chapter 2 and verse 27. Uh -huh. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. And I said, What? I am in the midst of Israel. And I said, He's in the midst of Israel. And that I am the Lord your God. And I said, He's the Israel's God. And none else. And what? And none else. And none else. How many more scriptures I got to go to? It's, it's, it's plain, ain't it, bro? It's plain. God the God of who? Israel. And where are you? Right. Israelite. So it's God for you? Yes, yes. Only for you. Yeah. All praises to the Most High. Give me Baruch 336. Watch this. See who he gave. And all his knowledge he gave to the children of Israel. But we're going to read it out of the Bible. Read that up. Baruch chapter 3 and verse 36. Uh -huh. He has found out all the ways of knowledge. Uh -huh. And has given it unto Jacob his servant. He given it to who? Jacob his servant. Read. And to Israel. And to who? And to Israel. So God gave knowledge to who? Israel. Israel, bro. You the only ones get the knowledge. We the only people on the planet that get the knowledge, brother. Psalm 147, 19. We the only people. That's how important this is. Because you've been here for an hour and a half or so. Learning this Bible. Listen to this Bible. Humble brothers. Matter of fact, give me James 4 and 6 first. Hold that. Give me James 4 and 6. Give me James 4 and 6. This is what's going on with y'all right now, bro. Read that. James chapter 4 and verse 6. Uh -huh. But he giveth more grace. Wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud. God resisteth the proud. Those come up and leave. Or those the dude, brother, talking about he knows what? God. He believe in white Jesus. He what? which he had is Christ. He ain't humble. He ain't humble, bro. Read. But giveth grace unto the humble. He gives grace to the humble. He made y'all stay up here. He wants y'all to listen to this word because y'all humble. You understand? He giving you this word because you're humble. You have a humble spirit, brother. Go to James 5. What is it? James 5 and uh, don't worry about it. Go back to Psalm 147, 19. Go back to Psalms 147. Psalms chapter 147, verse 19. Uh -huh. He showed his word unto Jacob, uh -huh. his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Uh, hold on. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his, and his judgments unto who? Unto Israel. Everybody. Israel. The Africans. Israel. Chinese. Israel. Japanese. Israel. Who? Israel. Who he show it to? Israel. Period, bro. It's period. He show We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.